Hello, my name is Charisma Wilson Alexander, and today I will be talking about the health aspects of childhood obesity. Okay, first let's delve into what childhood obesity is. According to the World Health Organization, obesity is excessive fat that can impair one's health, in this case, on children. Globally, in 2016, the number of overweight children under the age of five is estimated to be over 41 million. Childhood obesity is affecting our world globally, but the U.S. immensely, resulting in millions of children being obese. Obesity is very common among children and is one of the number one problems that parents are facing today. One in three children are obese in the U.S. If a child is overweight, they are more likely to have an increased risk of health problems. My partner, Kayla, will be talking about the ethical aspects of this problem. She will be explaining why the parents, school, and society are at fault. While my other partner, Andrea, will be talking about the ec economical fields and how healthy lifestyles, food, sports, and fitness programs are expensive and how some parents aren't able to pay this. Obesity among children. Now, there are different terms you can use when putting people in categories regarding their weight. Underweight, healthy weight, overweight, and obese. Which you can determine by their BMI, body mass index which is a measure of body fat based on the height or weight of the person. This can obviously vary depending if overweight children have a BMI at or above the 95 percentile. Today, we will be talking about, we will be talking about obesity, specifically in children in the U.S. and in other countries. Obesity has tripled among the younger population since the 1970s. This is an occurring problem because the obese kids are gaining more weight while other children are starting to become obese. Um, here, we're talking about US, the UK, which is 12,000 kids who were obese, 35% in England and Scotland were obese, and 40% in Northern Ireland, 38% in Wales. In Asia, in 2010, Southeast Asia and Western Pacific region were suffering from diabetes and other things associated with obesity. And then here's a chart where we see the U.S. is the highest among them, and then there's Iceland falling right after. And then um, Chile, Scotland, and the rest. Okay, factors of childhood obesity. Mostly food choices weigh in heavily in most situations, where a lot of different factors affect the child negatively, negatively not properly guiding the child. When the child starts off at the wrong foot, the child will continue the habits he or she were brought up with. Although food choices are a big contributor to childhood obesity, okay. Although food choices are a big contributor to childhood obesity, in some conditions, childhood obesity could be caused by genetics from the parents and possibly grandparents. In the GCTA, the Genome Wife Complex Trait Analysis, they, in, they investigated the molecular genetic heritability, which is one of the most widely speculated reasons that childhood obesity is such a prevalent issue. This study supports the idea that when two people who are genetically similar can look alike and also weigh the same. This study takes 2,269 adolescents ages 8 to 11 and pairs up the children that look alike to see if their weight is also similar. Concluding the study, it put together a better picture of how genetics affect childhood obesity, resulting in only about 30% of the sample size and having the same body weight and looks uh, or genetics. Worldwide, there's the two percent difference in, similar, in similar, similarity of genetics and body weight. Obesity may be linked to rare genetics, prader willi syndrome, or PWS. Symptoms of PWS are mainly poor muscle tone. Other symptoms include intellectual disability and behavioral problems. Delayed puberty and excessive hunger are more of a hormonal symptom. You can test these out by blood test and blood pressure. Also, child's metabolism is another common factor, something you can't control, but you, however, can improve your metabolism. This one also talks about the growth in childhood obesity, but not just in any specific range, more of like the overall global aspect of it. And it's up from 1972 to 2008, and you see that it's going. It's inclining. Okay. <laughs> Problems caused by childhood obesity. Many problems occur because of the child's obesity, physically and mentally, affecting the child in the long term and even short term. The child in the future may have to take excessive trips to the doctor's office. Okay, Physically, obesity in general can cause joint problems, such as 
osteoarthritis, the separation of the ball of the hip joint from the upper end of the thigh bones. Obesity at a young age can make the adult life for the child very problematic. Type 2 diabetes, more than 200,000 youth under the age of 20 have type 2 diabetes, and many more at a risk of de developing diabetes. Okay. Also high blood pressure, gallstones, heart disease, and high cholesterol levels. The child can begin to, def to develop iron deficiency, resulting in the child's constant need for vitamin D. Next, the child's metabolism, or specifically metabolic syndrome, which is caused by being low in nutrient and consuming a lot of calories and sugar. Out of all the children who are obese, 50% of them also suffer from meta metabolic syndrome. The factors of this are high blood pressure, HPP, and abnormal levels of blood fats. This can cause insulin resistance, which is when blood cells don't respond to insulin, normally leading to more problems, HBS. Poor kidney function, which is where they, the body can't filter toxins out of the body, causing stroke and heart problems. Arteriosclerosis, cholesterol hardens and forms a solid wall in the arteries, leading to the same thing as HPP. A stroke and heart attacks, which you may notice is that children who are obese have a higher risk of certain breathing problems, asthma and possibly pneumonia. Mentally, the child can be really affected by the fact that they are overweight. People can be harsh and rude towards the child, making the child depressed or mentally unstable. Now the overall problem is that doctors don't give much information about childhood obesity because they don't know much about it either. But in the new day and age, childhood obesity may be something that we look further into. On to my solutions. Um, nutri nutrition and physical activity. When trying to reach your appropriate body weight, the healthiest ways to change is gradually. That's why recommendations that focus on small but permanent changes in eating and physical activity may work better than a series of short-term changes that can't be sustained. The importance of continuing these lifestyle changes throughout your everyday life and maintaining the results are important. Things such as fast food and fattening snacks are inexpensive and inconvenient. Um, basically, my conclusion is that obesity in childhood in children is becoming a problem and that we should further investigate reasons that we can fix it or why it's happening to children. children. Um, adults in society are big influences of childhood obesity. Thank you, and these are my sources.